What is going on everybody? This is Teddy Lim from Project Limitless. Uh, welcome to my page. Today is day three of the 90 day video challenge. And uh, today I wanted to share with you a quick um, thought that I gathered from one of my favorite movies that I've just recently seen, um, and which is uh, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Um, you know, it's, it's a really classic movie uh, starring uh, Paul Newman and uh, another actor, which actually I can't remember what his name is right now, but um, I wanted to share with you um, the aha moment that I got from it. And it's really cool because the movie is centered around the wild, wild west, right? Uh, I'm totally fascinated by, by the old west, and um, which is probably why I moved to Texas uh, in Austin right now. I'm actually out here in Austin, and uh, sun is shining, uh, skies are blue, and it's very balmy. Balmy meaning you can actually smell the trees, smell the fragrance in the air. Uh, you know, even though we're in the middle of the city, which is kind of cool. Something that uh, I don't really experience. I didn't really get to experience out in Seattle. Um, but anyway, back to my story. It's telling you guys about um, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. It's actually a, a true-to-life story about these a uh, couple of outlaws that was really used to robbing banks for a living, <laughs> robbing banks, robbing people, um, not necessarily Robin Hoods per se, where they actually gave the money to somebody uh, who's in need, but you know, they did it, they did it for the fame, they did it for, for their own uh, modest upper and I, as you would, as you know, I guess you would say, um, that's just the way they lived. So anyways, uh, the film was centered around the theme that, you know, um, America during that time was getting industrialized very, very quickly. Uh, and uh, a, a lot of that movement uh, that actually caused it was actually the, the railway station. Now, the railway station, you could kind of um, liken that, I guess, to these days, the internet, where, you know, people were used to uh, traveling by horse, right, and horse and carriage, uh, and when the train started coming in, you know, products and services and goods were a lot more available. They started becoming more readily available because um, coal was cheap, wood was cheap, and you you can you can transport stuff uh, a lot more a lot more easily ready readily available, right, and so. When, um, sorry, the, the baby at the back is distracting me, but uh, she cute. <laughs> Anyways, um, I kind of liken that to the internet these days, where, you know, because of the availability of the internet, a lot of information, a lot of services, a lot of goods uh, are a lot more readily available, right? And so Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, which, by the way, if, if, you're, if you're a fan of Western movies and you haven't seen that movie, uh, shame on you, because <laughs> it's one of the all-time classics, right? Um, so, the, the railway station, they were hijacking a lot of trains and making a really good living out of it. And, which is, you know, I'm kind of likening it to people these days that, you know, they've, they've been so used to being a certain way, having a certain way of being throughout their lives and not being able to adapt as quickly as they have to or as quickly as they, they should they should do. Now, you know, the last couple of years, granted, um, technology has been going exponentially. It's spiking up like this, right? Progress, progress and technology is going up exponentially like this. It's spiking. Um, you know, producing technology has a lot been cheaper. Uh, and a lot of um, a lot of ideas because of social media has been more readily available to other people and so people are actually getting smarter right so my challenge for you is what are you doing to keep stepping your game up in terms of being able to com communicate uh, what are what are you doing uh, in order to step your game up to challenge yourself um, and what ways are you expanding your mind in order to be able to adapt uh, to this new generation, right? Um, in the next 10 years, um, there's going to be 
a big certain number of uh, I think it's I think it's like half a million people are going to become millionaires in the last in the next 10 years in the internet just in the internet alone right there's some crazy stat about that uh, but wealth wealth is going to be made in the next 10 years uh, and what I could see happening where I could see that happening in, the, in this sector is going to be with information selling your information selling your products and talents and and what's really cool about that it's it's actually a, a renewable resource and the return on investment is if you think about it it's actually limitless it's infinity because it's free to think you know if you have ideas it's free for you personally um, uh, and yet you know there's no there's no manufacturing that you need to uh, to do it's not like it's a, it's a pair of shoes or a pair of paper or something that you'd actually have to get from the ground it's all up here right um, so that's that's my that's my challenge to you where are you where do you see yourself being the next 10 years um, and you know to cap this off you know as a, as a famous saying that says if you fail to plan then you're planning to fail and so I know where I'm going the next 10 years. Actually, I know where I'm going the next five years. So if you want to join me for the ride, go ahead and hit me up on Facebook. Let's connect. Click the link below, and we'll talk soon. Cheers.